Hello everyone, welcome back to Pooja's recipes. Uh, guess what? Today I'm going, what I'm going to make very exciting dish, which is I think everyone's favorite. I'm going to make pani puri. Uh, pani puri I'm going to take ready made. I'm going to show you how to make a very tasty masala mm. and pani puri ka pani. Is this uh, water what we use? It's very very tasty and very quick to make. So let me mm. show you the ingredients first. These are boiled potatoes which I've mashed. These are eight to ten potatoes which I've mashed. Potato masala I'm going to show you uh, how to make. I'm going to show you later. These are mint leaves and la half handful of mint leaves, one handful of coriander leaves, three to four green chilies, and one to two pieces of ginger. This is tamarind pulp. I've so I've uh, I've soaked uh, the tamarind and I've strained with the chalni. Now I've taken out the pulp. This is lemon juice of two to three lemons. This is black salt or kala namak. This is roasted jeera powder. This is coarsely ground. Very important ingredient. Normal salt, red chilli powder. This is uh, black pepper powder. The Kashmiri red chilli powder and chaat masala. So first, I'm going to show you how to make pan. I'm going to add everything in this jar. And I'm going to blend this with salt. With sorry, with lemon water. These are the three, three things. I'm going to add half of lemon water now to this. I have added these coriander leaves, mint, and green chilies, and ginger, and half of lemon juice to this jar, and little bit of water to blend this. I'm going to blend this now. Yeah. This blend this. Let's see. This all mixture together now. This smells so good, fresh, with mint and coriander and everything. I'm going to strain this to the strainer. So I'm going to make water now. Adding other ingredients. This is roasted jeera powder, around two teaspoons. Very main ingredient. Red chilli powder again, one teaspoon. Salt, according to taste, one teaspoon. Black salt, one teaspoon. This red chilli powder. Uh, this Kashmiri one. This is optional if you want to add a little bit. You can add. Chaat masala. Black pepper powder. Little bit. Half a teaspoon, almost. This imli pulp. This gives a very good flavor. Pani puri around three big spoons like this tablespoons. Let's mix it well. This is almost ready. Now add cold water to it. I have taken water in the cold in the same same jar. This is around four to five cups of cold water. You can taste it and check it if you need more of uh, this lemon. Actually, because we have added tamarind already, so we don't need any more uh, sour taste. Bit of more red chilli powder, and this is all done. See the color; it's very fresh and very nice and very tasty. Extremely tasty. Now, I'm next, I'm going to add. Uh, going to make aloo masala. This, this is the. These are the aloo mashed ones. I'm going to make masala. Salt. One teaspoon. This black salt again. Salt you can add according to your taste. Chili powder also according to your taste. I like this golgappe a bit spicy. And this again this roasted jeera powder. This is around two teaspoons, and this is a very good thing which I'm going to add. This was the leftover from this, you know, which we generally discard from this chutney we made the paste pudina one. I'm going to add this to this masala. This is going to give it a very good flavor, and this coriander leaves also, and just mix it well. 
mixed all this masalas together with the potatoes mashed properly and it smells also very nice because of that pudina which we have added and also from uh, because of other spices so now everything is ready i've got ready puris golgappe i'm going just going to serve it now so i've taken these puris these are ready made puris this lovely masala this is its water golgappe ka pani and now i'm going to add my favorite thing to it this is bundi raita bundi and this makes it like amazingly tasty very good i'm going to show you just fill this masala and so i'm going to add 